Bill is part of many Bigfoot groups online, including the, what is it, the Bigfoot Society of Critical Thinking? Or the Coalition for Critical Thinking and Bigfoot Research. We're the most hated group on the internet, Bigfoot group, because we, we debunk blob squatches and shadows and tree stumps and all kinds. But we're like guys that used to hope there was Bigfoot. Still, you never know, so, but it's very unlikely there's a Bigfoot. And what do we have here? Evidence? Well, these are some of the famous plaster casts. This one's known as the Bosford Cripple, Crippled Foot that was used as an example of why, at least this was from 1969, of, this was, this was for, there was probably a mile long of footprints. This was an injured Bigfoot on this, and this, this has been discussed. If you're a hoaxer, how would you know, you know, podiatrists have discussed this and people that are into locomotion of, of you know, professors to break to do this mold you would have to have a very detailed knowledge of how the foot breaks and fractures and issues so when you look at this foot this is described out you see that you know the normal person wouldn't know that it bulges out there bulges out there so there was uh, you know hundreds of these that were followed and so that's used as an example of why there could be a Bigfoot, yeah. because this is above and beyond a hoaxer's capability at the time. Well, I'm convinced. What's this right here? We have a Geiger counter. That's a real L. Ron Hubbard Scientology machine. This is the portable version. This is Hubbard on it. Scientology. And, and indeed, like you always heard, they really did use tin cans that you hold. That's how hokey the whole Scientology thing is. Well, you'll find this interesting. Well, this is my this is my vampire fighting kit. Ah. You might find this interesting. Vampire survival kit. This is for my great grandfather. This was his, and uh, you know he spent a lot of time in Europe, and so you know I've got my gun, my crosses, my nails, holy water. Got the bullets for the gun in here. I tried it once and shoots pretty good. Stakes, Bible. Uh, you know I have salve here in case you want it. Crucifixes, so I'm pretty much ready for any uh, you know, vampire issues that happen here. Well, I feel safer already. Yeah. Right there. That's an altarpiece from the movie Angels and Demons. It's it's made out of foam and hard coat, kind of like we did all the furniture for uh, Flintstones. So the decorator gave it to me. I have a lot of horror stories. Now this is the wall of fame for Bigfoot, right? What do we have up there? We have what? Frame, what, 352? This is frame, yeah. Bob Gimlin, who is this guy right here, that's his signature there. This is very accurate to what he and Roger Patterson saw. They saw this, but this is the famous 1967 film. So Bob signed this to me, and this is the famous uh, frame uh, 352 in the, it's a very quick film, it's only like 42 seconds or something, 16 millimeter film. Told me all about it. Got me all like turned and looked at me, and I had my gun ready. So this is kind of a famous uh, frame here. You know, it's a treat to meet Bob. I met him at Alien Con. You know, I'm not a, I know a lot of UFO people, and they're pretty much crazy, but we all got together. But for some reason, the Bigfoot group is there. They're they're trying to link Bigfoot with UFOs. So it's known for finding a Bigfoot. The thinking now is, that some people is, oh, it must come from UFOs and hide the trees. There's a reason they don't find Bigfoot, because Bigfoot's invisible. We debunk a lot of those on my site. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Rated R.